Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you this new toy I've made. It's a basic 5 servos walking robot. To build this robot, you need quite a few parts. Let me show you the parts. First of all, you need the Arduino Nano. This is the clone that I got from Hobby King, so it's cheap, it costs less than 10 US dollars. And you're going to need one short range. Sonar. The sonar sensor is the short range one. Do not get the long range one because those are for RC aircraft. And then you're going to need one of this regulator. This is better than the 7805 linear voltage regulator because the 7805 outputs 1 amp, whereas this MP1584 outputs 3 amp and it doesn't get hot and it's cheap too each one costs about 280 USD you're gonna need the JST pigtail to connect your lipo these are nylon spaces for quadcopters if you find hard to get this you could just go to the hardware shop get wall plugs that you hammer into the hole in the wall to attach screws so wall plugs will work fine as well and you need a 2 cell lipo pack this is about 800 mAh and you need super glue for this project and you do need to solder get a cheap soldering iron like this one which is about 6 USD and solder flux and 5 identical servos these are the cheap ones from Hobby King that's all the parts you need to build the robot for the program, you need a computer, obviously, to hook up the Arduino Nano board via the USB. Go ahead to Think Universe, download the codes. Once you download the codes and unzip, you'll find three files here. This is the main program. I'm going to open it up and show you what you need to change. And by the way, you do need the Arduino freeware installed. Alright, so when the main program opens up, you see these parameters here. Um, for example, the head, right foot, left foot and so on. Now let me show you the wiring. On the Arduino Nano board, you'll find all these pins here. For example, if you hook up the NAC servo to pin 11, then you got to make sure that you configure the codes accordingly to match up. So this is NAC servo D11 and over here on the codes I have set NAC which is um, the head to pin 11. So for the right foot servo, the servo on the right foot is defined here as pin 6. We should hook up the right foot servo to this pin D6 on the board so you gotta make sure how you hook it up physically the codes have to match up the other thing is um, if you are having an older version of the Arduino freeware you will find that you do not have this library the new pin.h library is missing you could google for it download it and then unzip it to your computer. Once you have done that, you would be able to add the library. Go to Sketch, Import Library. Right, and then you can add library. Basically, once you've unzipped, you will find the new pin in this drop down. So you select that and add it to the library. If you miss this step, you would not be able to compile the codes because the new ping.h library is missing so to compile and upload simply have your Arduino Nano board hook up to your computer via the USB and click on this button to upload it will do a compilation of the codes and then it will flash the firmware to your Arduino board now for the last part is the robot itself requires uh, plastic parts so you do need a 3D printer to print out the plastic parts 
if you do not have a 3D printer, you can ask your friend to print out these parts for you. If you print it at 10% density, it takes less than 3 hours, which is not too bad. Now for the assembly of the robot, it's pretty self-explanatory. From the close-up here, you can see how I position the servos. These two are basically the heaps. In the codes, they call it the uh, right heap and the left heap. And then this is the right foot and the left foot. So just attach the servos like this. And like, like that here on the sides. Okay. Take note of the orientation. Basically, the head will be more to the left of the robot because you can't get it perfectly center, that's okay. So, just mount it this way. And this is where the nylon spaces or the wall plugs are used, basically, to provide support for this center servo. And the sauna sensor will be attached to the head. Basically, just a piece of L bracket for the color coding. Don't have to worry. Just look at the diagram. So you could see echo, trigger, and basically ground. Uh, one more would be the five volts. So four wires for the sauna sensor. Forget about button, I did not use this because I find it a hassle to build this um, circuitry. So I don't need that button to control the power supply. All these are servos, left foot servo, right foot servo, left hip servo, right hip servo and the head servo which is called neck here. So take note that these are all the signal wires which are the orange wires. So what happens to the red and the black wires of the servos? you should merge all the black wires together and all the red wires together and then hook them up to ground and the 5 volts well lots of wires here so I use the cable management and allow enough slack so that the head could turn 180 degrees oh and by the way yep I forgot to mention about the regulator. So this is the uh, 5 volts regulator, it's hidden below. So for the voltage in, it doesn't come directly from the LiPo, it comes from the voltage regulator. Like this. And then the LiPo pack gets connected here. The two cell 8.4 volts gets stepped down to 5 volts, which is what you want for the entire circuit. Enough talking and let me power up this thing and show you how it works. Come on Bigfoot, do your walking. Yep, keep going. This is funny. Okay, let's see how I respond to an obstacle. Great, the sauna sensors are working. Should side step. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down and let it roam about in the living room. We should do the side step trip again since there's an object in front. Yep. Okay, that's all I have and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching.